This is the senior class, huh? Miss Grande was just asking, is this the entire senior class? I said, I guess so. Um, when I was walking down the aisle a little while ago, I saw a student had her, she had her phone out. And I know your, your phone, your cell phone is your lifeline. But I would just ask for, t for this time, if you could just put your phones away, please. I know it's hard. You have to hang on to them. But if you could just put them away in your book bag or something, okay? So put your phones away, if you could just please do this. And then if you're eating, we'd like you to put away your food, because you're not supposed to be eating in the auditorium. Okay, so this is my 10th year here at Brentsville, and I've gone through a lot of different senior classes, and you guys have really done a good job in terms of getting ready, some of you, for you know life after high school. So this year, I decided to ask Alicia Grande, who works at Northern Virginia Community College here in Manassas, um, or in Manassas, to talk to you a little bit about NOVA. NOVA is another uh, great option for you. Um, we had a lot of students, I think, last year who decided that they would go to NOVA for two years. And um, so she's here to talk to you a little bit about the NOVA program. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand if you're thinking about going to NOVA, but um, they have a lot to offer, um, so I want her to talk to you a little bit about NOVA. So if you could give Alicia Grande a round of applause for being here. Thank you, thank you. Um, so I have been at NOVA Manassas campus for seven years, and I can tell you this. Seven years ago, we weren't as popular as we are today. Um, I do have one rule when I do present. I have a funny accent. You guys can guess it at the end. Um, we'll see who guesses it right, okay? So, why NOVA? How many of you know somebody that goes to Northern Virginia Community College? Raise your hand high. Okay, good. 75 of your graduating class of 2015 actually attend NOVA today. And that's just our fall start time. So that's everyone who decided who graduated in 2015 who came to us in August in our fall semester, that not including the ones that will be starting in January, and I think I have another 20 that are coming from Brentsville that graduated in the fall of 2015. We have two different start options. So students do choose either fall or spring to come to NOVA. Why NOVA? Anybody want to take a guess why? We don't cheap, what's another word for that? Inexpensive, affordable, right? So the cost isn't as much as a four-year college. So to go to NOVA full-time, 12 credits, about $2,000 a semester. So it's about $5,000, I always round up a little bit, about $4,000, $5,000 a year. The number one reason why students attend a community college is because of the affordability. Money is a huge option, um, it's not always the case for students, so they come to us because we're affordable. We offer financial aid, so we're even more affordable if you qualify for financial aid. Okay, second reason, anyone want to take a guess? <laughs> they didn't do so well in high school. That's one of the reasons, absolutely. So the second number one, the second reason why students come to us besides portability, number two is they didn't do so well in high school or they don't want to take the SATs or the ACTs. So they come to NOVA. The community college is an open access institute. Everybody who applies to NOVA will be accepted into NOVA, however, you won't have classes with all of those students. So we do kind of have a placement test that determines which students can be in which classes because we don't require a GPA, ACT, SAT, letters of recommendation, any of that. We're an open access institute, which is great because we allow students who didn't do so well in high school have that chance to go to college and do better in college than they did in high school. Okay, but we also have students more so over the years, um, the past couple of years, that have got into some of the bigger schools, Tech, UVA, VCU, and had decided to come to NOVA. Yeah. So you do have those students that have that 4.0 GPA, perfect attendance, mm -hmm. but they decide to come to NOVA because of the affordability. Number three reason, anyone want to take a guess? So we talked about money. We talked about no admissions requirement. 
two year thing, right? What is that? The two year thing. Look at that, it's called Guaranteed Admission Agreements, correct. It's not a 3.0 though, it varies from college to college, okay? So the lowest GPA that you can get in college is a 2.0. Any grades lower than a C in college do not count. Okay? They don't transfer. So you wanna get a C or higher in college. Can you get a D in high school or pass? Yeah. Yeah. In college, you can't. So, guaranteed admission agreements, number three, third, the, number three of why students come to NOVA is because students can come to NOVA, complete the associate's degree in a transferable program, meet the criteria that the four-year college or university is looking for, and be guaranteed admitted into that university. Okay? So that's even if you applied out of high school and didn't get in. So we have a lot of students that try to get into UVA out of high school didn't get into UVA, come to NOVA, complete the associate's degree that transfers to UVA, meets all the criteria for UVA, gets the GPA for UVA, and is guaranteed admitted. Now, they're guaranteed admitted into the college, not necessarily a certain specific school at UVA. So a lot of colleges have the School of Business, the School of Medicine, the School of Education. We're not guaranteeing you admitted into those, we're guaranteeing you admitted into the college, University of Virginia. Okay, so the GPAs vary, they range. The lowest GPA is a 2.0 to a university or college. The highest is a 3.8. Okay, so depending on the university or college that you're looking to go to, it would depend on what GPA you have to have. There are little, um, little criteria you have to meet within that program, within the guaranteed admission agreement. The guaranteed admission agreement states that you cannot have anything lower than a C. Sometimes it's nothing lower than an A or a B. Okay, so if you're in an engineering field, you, your math, your English courses, your science courses can't be anything lower than a B at NOVA. But if you complete that associate's degree when you're going to transfer, you're entering as a junior at that university or college. Now students always ask me, can you transfer after you take a semester of classes at NOVA? I want to transfer, I just want to get out. I don't want to be at NOVA and complete the degree, I just want to get out. You can do that, however, we're not guaranteeing you admittance into that four-year college or university, and we're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to enter as a junior. Okay, so you enter in as however that four-year college or university sees you come in as. So some students will do a year at NOVA and only enter as a second semester freshman. The reason for that is NOVA has some criteria and courses that students must take to complete our degrees. And then the four-year college just has, they have criteria and courses that you have to take there to meet their degree. But when you complete the associate's degree, you're completing the first two years of a bachelor's degree. So that is why when you complete the associate's degree, you're able to enter as a junior once you transfer. Four, what's the fourth reason why students attend us? Local. Local, good. And what else? Look around. How many seats are in this auditorium? Does anybody? Anybody know? No? Okay. Well, if you look around, you're not going to have this many students in any of your classes at NOVA. We really pride ourselves on small learning environments for successful students. Our largest class size um, is about 30. When I say about 30, the max for us is really 25. However, we only offer certain classes during certain semesters, and if you're a graduating senior and the class is at max, sometimes that faculty member will allow an extra two or three students in that class so they can graduate and transfer off to the four-year college or university. So don't stress out, you're not gonna have a class of 250, really. If you're in a science class, it's gonna be about 15 is our max a number in our science classes. So we really pride ourselves in small classroom sizes um, for student success, and the fifth reason really is local. We're, you have to live at home, which is great for us. Um, but we also have student life on campus, so we try to make it fun for you. We know as a community college, we're not your destination college, okay? We're a pathway college, meaning um, it's like a bus terminal or a train stop, like Union Station, where all those trains and buses come into Union Station, and then they funnel you out to your, your final destination, or you were trying to go. That's what NOVA, as a community college is. 
You're going to come to us for many different reasons. You're going to come to us either to transfer to a four-year college or university. You may come to us to take one or two classes because you are at the university and didn't do so well. So you need to retake some classes and you decided to take it at a little lower cost for tuition at NOVA. Or you want to go off to employment. A lot of students will pursue our applied degrees. So some of our applied degrees are automotive, HVAC, biotechnology, vet tech, some of our allied health programs. And those programs are designed to assist with employment upon completion. You're applying your skills upon completion of the program into employability skills. And so we know that students may say, I'm going to know, but that's great, but that, this is not where it's going to end. You're going to end somewhere else. So we're a pathway college, and our president, Dr. Rawls, our new president, Dr. Rawls, he keeps telling the students and faculty and staff that, that we have to assist students in getting to their final destination. We're the hub for that. So when you're with us, we want to make it fun. We don't want you to just be like, oh, I'm going to Nova. What do you do? I just go to class and go home. We actually hire student workers to have fun on campus. So we have student ambassadors that run our student life office. Every campus has a director of student life, and they hire students to create the fun. I can't create programming on campus. So if I wanted to have a high school outreach club to help me go to the high schools and talk to students, I can't come up with that idea. The students have to come up with that idea. So every club, every activity on campus is all student-led, student-run which is pretty cool because you have the opportunity to really create something and leave your mark at the college. You know, leave your legacy. I saw some of you when I said mark. I know, right? <laughs> and so, NOVA is that school for you. We help you. So we have a lot of students that come to us that are a little shy and they leave running SGA, Student Government Association. We have the president of the Student Government Association who is this quiet, sweet, whispered when she came to talk to me when she first started, but now she's running the whole organization on our campus, running events, doing big things, okay? We don't want you just to come to NOVA and just take classes. We want you to get involved. When you get involved on campus with us, that means when you transfer, you're going to get even more involved at the four-year college or university. The other cool thing at NOVA is that we have athletics. So we are NJCAA regulated, National Junior College Athletic Association, and we do have competitive athletics. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're not going to come out and recruit you and get, give you a scholarship because we're not allowed to give scholarships to students for community college sports at NOVA. However, if you do have the skills and you do want to play an athletic sport that we offer, you are eligible to complete the interest form and try out with the team. And if you make it, for your colleges and universities then come out and watch you play. So we have had students go off and get recruited off to Division II, Division III, some Division I schools also. Okay, so our men's athletics are basketball, lacrosse, soccer, and for women it is volleyball, basketball, cross country, and now softball. So we are in every year or every so many years we do include or update our sports. We try to add one or so a year if we can. Um, we don't have football or wrestling. That seems to be the one that people, uh, students keep asking us for. We do have a competitive co-ed ice hockey team too. Okay. Now just because we don't have your competitive sport doesn't mean we don't have intramural sports, doesn't mean you can't play locally and still get assisted to go off to a four-year college or university within that sport. We have over 150 clubs throughout our campuses. How many campuses does NOVA have? Six. Good. How did you know that? You just guessed. <laughs> we do have six. Okay? You can take classes at almost any one of them. There's really only one campus that you're not, it's not an open access campus. It's a criteria-based campus, and that's our Springfield campus for our medical education programs. So nursing, paramedics, allied health, health information technology, phlebotomy, all those courses are offered at that campus. But we have a, a campus strictly for online learning. So if you never wanted to see a faculty member's face, you could take online classes. If you didn't want to come to Manassas because all of your graduated class or most of the people you'll see will be there, if you wanted to get in your car and drive either tw down 28 to get to Loudoun or go all the way to Woodbridge, you can. So it really depends on what you want to do, okay? You don't have to go to just Manassas. We have six campuses. So we have Woodbridge, Manassas, Annandale, Alexandria, and Loudoun. 
And then we have our medical education campus, which is out in Springfield, and like I said, our online learning campus, which is strictly online. So I just always like to talk to students just a little bit about differences between high school and college, because the, there's some rumors out there that Nova is like not a real college, right? How many of you have heard of that? Anyone? Okay, be honest. Yeah, I like it. Good. So we are a real college. <laughs> We are a real college, and our faculty members are credentialed. When I say credentialed, they, that means they have the same exact credentials as George Mason University faculty members. Okay? So a lot of our faculty members actually come from George Mason University, George Washington. Some of them even come up from Tech, UBA. They've taught at the four-year college, and now they want to teach at the community college. Why? Because they like the smaller learning, and they want that hands-on learning. They want the students to get involved and be engaged in their classes. They want to have that open camaraderie in the classroom and do outside projects. They're there to teach. A lot of our faculty members are young. I call our science department the Big Bang Theory because they're that young and they're so much fun. They'll get anyone interested in science. I even walk by and I say, hmm, I have no clue what biotechnology is. I always sit in on one of their lectures or one of their science classes just to find out more because they're that engaging. So we offer financial aid too. How many of you have heard of financial aid? Everyone's hand in shook. Yes? Financial aid is need-based financial aid at the college. It is through um, FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. I have to put this plug out there. That application is free. There are some community organizations I know out there that are charging students to assist with completing that application. Please, please, please do not pay for anyone to help you with the FAFSA. The FAFSA is free. We offer at the college free workshops on Saturdays starting, usually we start in February. We host once a month where your parents and yourself can come in and get help for the financial aid, the FAFSA application, even if you're not coming to NOVA. One of the perks of being a community college is we work with students that are coming to us or going off to a four-year college. Part of our title is community, so we want to be community-based, we want to run community programming. So we offer financial workshops to all students. So do not pay for anyone to help you fill out that application. Okay? All right. So some of the myths. It's not a real college. We don't have real teachers. How many hours a week are you in high school right now? Too many. 30. 35, between 35 and 40, right? 35. All right. So 35 hours a week. How many hours a week do you guys do at homework? You a lot. You said a lot. All right. How many of you, let's do it like this. Between 5 and 10 hours, raise your hand of homework. A week. 5 to 10 hours a week. 10 to 15 a week. Wow. 15 to 20. Okay, 20 to 25. All right. So why am I asking this? Students always ask me, well, what's the difference between high school and college? That's the difference. So in college, we're only going to be in classes the amount of credits you register for. So if you're only registering for 12 credits, you're only going to be in class that week for 12 hours, four different classes. Okay, so your courses are, um, your course hours are by credit hours. So if I have one class is three credits, I'll be in that class for that week for three hours. It could be three days a week at an hour, it could be two days a week at an hour and a half, it could be one day a week for three hours. Okay, but for that one class, it may have five hours of homework per that class a week. Okay, so it's about four to five hours per class of homework. Now, is it going to be every week? Some weeks maybe, some weeks not. But that's where the big flip happens, is where in college, you're only in classes max 12 to 15 hours a week. But your homework is between 25 and 30 hours a week. Okay? Depending on the program. So why am I telling you this? Because we like students to know what's going to happen. So a lot of students will say, oh, it's just NOVA, I'm not going to have that homework. You're going to have that homework at NOVA. 
you're going to have that homework at George Mason or Tech. Now, will it be every week? Depends on the week, depends on your program, depends on the courses. But that's where the major difference is. The other cool thing about coming to college is you schedule your own classes. Because we're a community college, we do things a little differently than a four-year college, is all new students must take a placement test because we don't have the SAT requirements or the ACT requirement. So we have a placement test in math and English. That placement test determines what level of courses you can register for. After you've taken that placement test, you register for orientation. Four-year colleges and universities are going to have you go to orientation in July and August. I just found out this morning as I was heading here, our orientations will begin April. Registration opens April 4th for our new incoming class that begins in August. So you haven't even gone through some of your senior finals, some of your senior projects. The prom probably hasn't even happened yet, right? But yet we're telling you enough from NOVA, we want you to come in and get registered. The reason for that is with the increase of enrollment on our campus, we need to make sure students have room in classes. We can't hold classes for the incoming freshman class. So students last year who graduated from this high school came to orientation in May, walked across the graduation stage with a class schedule already in hand. The cool thing about that is if you're not a morning person, you're able to choose classes when the best time fits you. If you're not a night person, again, you don't have to come at night. If you're waiting till the end of June, July, and August to come to us, you may have that 6.30 a.m. class. Our classes start at 6.30 a.m. Our last class, I think, begins at 8.30 p.m. and goes to 11 p.m. Okay? So the cool thing about coming early to NOVA to get registered is you can have that great schedule. You can have two days off a week. You can go to class Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, have Tuesdays, Thursdays off. Or you could come Tuesday, Thursday and have Monday, Wednesday, Fridays off. Or you can go Monday to Thursday and have Fridays off. Fridays on our, all of our campuses are pretty slow because a lot of students don't like to come to class on Friday. But those are the students that came early to get registered. If you come later, you won't get those cool classes. And when I say 6.30 a.m., that faculty member's talking at 6.30 a.m. They're not saying, okay, let's get started. I'm going to give you a couple minutes. 6.30 a.m., that faculty member is talking. And you're looking at them with the cross eye, like, I don't want to be here. We have Saturday classes and Sunday classes also, and Friday night classes. So, you really want to get registered early if you're, coming, if you're thinking about NOVA. If you're thinking about NOVA and a four-year college, I'm going to ask you to do this. Start our process also. We had a few students from a few different high schools come to us late August, went off to the four-year college university, their orientation, and realized they didn't want to be there. They changed their mind. So they came to us late, which is great, but guess what kind of class schedule they got? Friday nights, Saturdays, 10 o'clock at night, they're leaving class. So if you do our scheduling along with your application and your process for the four-year colleges, there's no hold, you know, we're not going to bind you to, you apply to us, you came to orientation. All you have to do is say, I'm going to go to George Mason University. We're going to say congratulations, all the best. We're just going to remove you from our list. Okay. So sometimes students are waitlisted also from the four-year college, and they wait to the last minute to decide what's going to happen and what they're going to do. And then they decide no. And again, we want to try to make that process a little easier. We want to get you set up and, or and gone through orientation and make you feel like a part of our community. So when you do come to us or you decide not to come to us, it's an easy process for you. Because I can guarantee you, all students who tell me they're never going to go to NOVA, at least end up taking probably one class with us during the summer when they come back over their break. Any questions? No? So, I'll get back to that in a second. Do you have no questions regarding NOVA, regarding our placement tests, regarding... So let me just give a, a br brief overview before we wrap up of what your next steps are, okay? In the spring, when I say spring, I usually mean winter. That's how the college works. So the college has three terms. So we have a fall, spring, and summer. Fall is August, begins in August, goes all the way through December 16th. 
Spring begins January 11th and will go through May 16th. Summer begins May 5th and goes through July 25th or something of like that. Okay, so in the spring, in March, February, March, April, we host Brentsville District High School students, seniors that want to come to the campus for a field trip. So please look out for that information. We will bring you through our process. You'll meet your first year advisor. You'll get to learn more information. And we feed you lunch. Okay? It's always a good thing, right? Application is online. It's free. It's on our website. Okay? Do not hesitate to fill one out. We don't do anything with it. You may receive a phone call or email from us asking if you need any further help. If you tell me no, I just did it to get it on file. I won't harass you or call you or stalk you or any of that stuff. I just want to make sure you have the information you need. After you've applied to NOVA, if you're thinking about coming, you're going to want to do the placement test. You're not going to do that until March or April. Okay? After you've done the placement test, you'll then register for orientation. You won't be able to do anything else until you go through orientation. All new students receive a first year advisor at NOVA. So you'll be paired with someone who will review the information and be able to guide you towards your goals. Okay, you won't be able to register for any classes that you want to register for without us looking it over and reviewing because we want to make sure that your classes and your courses are lined up with your long-term goal. After you go through orientation, you're on your own. We'll check in with you, we'll make sure you're doing okay, then we'll pair you with a faculty advisor within your program. So if you're a science major, you're going to have a science faculty. If you're automotive, you'll have automotive. You're nursing, you'll have nursing. The reason for that is they are the experts within that field. And that's it. That's the process. It's that easy. So, questions regarding that, and then I'll tell you where I'm from. I wish. Somebody said it earlier. Boston. From Boston. To March, to say yeah. Well, thank you. Hold on. Hold on. I used to teach high school, so I, I miss this guy. What? So, thank you so much. My last name, with my first initial A, Grande at nbcc.edu, is my email address. Now, if you need more information, if you're serious about attending NOVA, I do have brochures. I have probably about 40 of them up here. I can always bring more to. Thank you. I know that there are some students that have come down to the counseling office that really are serious about attending NOVA next year, so I'm going to ask that those guys stay so Alicia can talk with you a little bit. Um, one of the things that she did mention um, was that we do have the NOVA field trip, and Ms. Davis is the one that will be taking the students. I'll wait till you guys finish. Um, Ms. Davis will be um, taking, uh, taking you guys to NOVA for that field trip. Please listen out for that announcement. It is a very good field trip. Um, and so uh, the bus will come and pick you up here and you'll spend, make a half a day. And like you said, you'll have lunch. Um, but for those of you who are seriously considering going to NOVA, and I know there's a few of you here, um, please stay after for a little bit so Ms. Grande can talk with you about that. Again, um, we're going to have the person from NOVA, and I can't think of her name now. Lisa Branson is going to come and talk with us um, in December about financial aid So, um, with the senior class again. So again, I ask that you um, thank Ms. Grande for coming to Brentsville today. We give her a round of applause.